Hi, I'm Tom Catalino from Critical Link. We're a company that sells the Mighty DSP and Mighty ARM family of modules. These modules are based on the TI processors, uh, the OMAP L138 and the AM1808. The OMAP L138 is a ARM 9, 456 MHz, plus a 456 MHz DSP. The AM1808 is an ARM only version of the same chip. These modules are available both with and without an FPGA, and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to do a, an unboxing video of the development, development kit for these modules. First, just real quickly, the, the modules that are available from Critical Link are available both with and without an FPGA, and then in each of those configurations they're available in the AM1808 or the OMAP L138, so ARM plus DSP or ARM only. Uh, and again, ARM plus DSP and ARM only, and again, with and without an FPGA. So, the Mighty DSP development kit is available at Avnet, Mauser, and DigiKey. And we'll just go through the box here and show you what you get when you purchase one of the uh, development kits from Critical Link. First of all, you get a nice letter. And in addition, you get a, uh, a checklist with all of the uh, products included within the kit. Uh, what I wanted to point out here was at the very top, we put down for you exactly what model is installed in the development kit. You can order development kits from Critical Link with any one of the modules that I spoke of, and then also in the various memory configurations as well. In the development kit, we have the, the module plus the baseboard. A quick overview of the development kit board. Of course, we have our Mighty DSP module, and again, you can put either the FPGA version or non FPGA version uh, into the kit. Installed on the, on the module, we see a uh, JTAG breakout connector used to provide JTAG interfaces for both the DSP and the, uh, the Xilinx FPGA. And walking around the board, just to show uh, the different interfaces that are available, we have a standard USB, we have a USB on the go, we have audio out, we have a battery back here for a real-time clock, which is uh, implemented on the module. We have a 10100 Ethernet jack, we have a DVI interface, we have a ribbon cable interface for an outboard LCD with touchscreen. The LCD and touchscreen, please contact Critical Link uh, about availability. There's a RS-232 connection right here for debug. Over here we have a serial ATA connector for hooking up an external hard drive. Over here we have a CAN bus interface and an expansion uh, interface for uh, Profibus RS-422 uh, configurable, jumper configurable on this board. Uh, and note too that uh, these these industrial bus interfaces are are completely isolated. On the bottom of the board, we have an SD card slot as well as three large expansion connectors. These expansion connectors are connected to unused pins on the FPGA. There's about 46 pins that are available for prototyping through these pins. Uh, in addition, any of the unused interfaces from the OMAP L138 or AM1808 are also provided through these headers for your use for prototyping your products. So in addition to um, this board set that uh, comes with the kit, we get a CD, more about that later, a uh, Ethernet cable, a serial cable, serial communications cable, and the adapter for the RS-232. So the RS-232 adapter plugs in here, plugs into your cable, and then into your PC. And note that this is a null modem cable uh, for connection to your PC. And then finally, just your, um, your power supply. Your also DC included card. in the kit is a DVD. On the DVD includes one, one large file, which is a, uh, a VirtualBox image. Free software called VirtualBox from Oracle uh, allows you to run a virtual machine on your PC under Windows. 
This image is a pre-configured Ubuntu virtual machine image that comes pre-configured with all of the development tools that you need in order to do the Linux development for the ARM processor on the modules. So you just load in the virtual image. There are instructions on our uh, wiki, on the MightyDSP.com uh, wiki. There's links on the product pages to the wikis. There's a couple of starter guides available. One of the starter guides gives you information about how to load this virtual machine image up and how to get started writing a basic Hello World program using the virtual machine image. The virtual machine image comes complete with GCC already installed, with full kernel source installed, uh, full U-boot source installed, Eclipse is also installed and ready to go for your embedded ARM development. In addition, on the wiki, there's information about how to develop a, a quick Hello World program for the DSP as well, using Code Composer Studio. The development platform uses all standard tools from TI, as I just mentioned, Code Composer Studio from Texas Instruments. And in addition, you use Xilinx's ISE for development on the Xilinx Spartan 6 FPGA that's included on the FPGA module.